hey, HGTV, we want you to take over our hometown. population 1,214. We'd like to take you on a tour of our town and show you what heart and resilience we have and why we are the town perfectly positioned for a citywide makeover. St. John, Kansas was founded in the 1870s as a utopian community. It's said that the town's founders made a blessing over this town that no tornado shall ever destroy it. And 150 years later, while tornadoes have come very close to this town, none have ever actually entered the city of St. John. The St. John Hudson School District serves over 360 students pre-K through 12th grade. In addition to the core classes of math, English, science, and social studies, the academic offerings also include band and choir, robotics, audio video productions, and industrial arts. Hey! We're a town that takes great pride in our student successes. From state championships in basketball, cross country, and volleyball, to all state musicians and forensic state qualifiers, our students represent our community with great enthusiasm. One of our hometown boys even made it all the way to the NBA this year. Like many small towns, we have struggled with population decline and the lure of job opportunities in cities elsewhere. We also have resilience and pride and have taken some key steps to poise our town for a citywide revitalization. We have a classic downtown square bordered by an ornate block wall and anchored in the center by a three-tier fountain that is a symbol of the city. From 1909 to 1913, a group of local ladies raised $5,000 to purchase a, quote, fountain popular for the times. In 2019, it was removed for restoration and will be finished in time for our annual city festival held on Memorial Day. This wall has recently been approved for a mural that will depict our town's unique history. The committee leading the design concept includes high school students through senior citizens. Brown Park, on the north edge of town, was recently awarded a $35,000 grant to upgrade playground equipment. But the town's crown jewel is the grocery store so many worked so hard to develop. After losing our local grocery store in 2016, St. John had quickly become a food desert. With the help of over 100 residents and a combination of 12 financing sources, including a mixture of public, private, and nonprofit monies, Stafford Economic Development was able to secure $4 million to build the Stafford County Marketplace in a short two and a half years. The marketplace includes a full grocery store, convenience store, and a pharmacy. As you can see, we've taken a few steps, but there's so much more to do. Let's check out some places that would make ideal locations to feature in a town makeover. Welcome to Gray Studio. Gray Studio was named for photographer William Gray and his family. And the building is built in the late 1800s. The structure is common for that time period, except for the fantastic north windows that are essential for photography. Our building restoration project is for an art center for our area. Our building will have retail space, classroom space, and a artisan residency program. Um, and museum space also. So uh, 
We have secured the outside of the structure and we are now working on the inside where we have stalled a little bit and we could use some help on that. And we have special needs that it needs to be comfortable to live and work in and we have historical preservation needs also. Hi, I'm Adam Ritz. I'm the industrial arts instructor. And I'm Josh Meyer. I'm the superintendent of schools here in the St. John Hudson School District. And we have a vision uh, to start a program with our high school students to remodel a home uh, where they can learn uh, residential construction techniques, uh, plumbing, heating and air, uh, electrical, everything that goes with, uh, with uh, constructing a home or remodeling a home. So we would like your help in uh, getting a hold of this house and uh, remodeling it and uh, our kids would learn as part of that process. City of St. John owns this building that used to be a grocery store. It has a second floor apartment that has two bedrooms and one bath and measures approximately 1,800 square feet. The open living room features a unique curved wall with broad glass and it is screaming to be restored to its Art Deco glory days. Another possible renovation location is this former law office. The drop ceilings, if removed, would reveal ornate tin ceilings. The upstairs was also used as an office space 70 years ago and is like a time capsule in its current state. It would make drool worthy loft apartments. There are a variety of single family homes with good bones that are in need of a little TLC. The owners are all on board for you to work your renovating magic. While restoring old houses is essential to a town's revitalization, families also value the energy efficiency, predictability, and lower maintenance of new construction. But new construction costs are not generally compatible with rural family incomes, which in St. John averages around $47,000 a year. That's why we've been working with Kansas State University and their Net Positive Studio, a program for fifth-year architecture students, to design a three-bedroom, two-bath home that is affordable for the incomes of a small town. Your expertise in interior design, landscaping, and presentation would be a huge help. St. John is a community loved by those who live here. We have worked hard to make our town the utopia our founders set out to build. While we have made great strides in some areas, we know the work is not yet done. With our heart, determination, and perseverance, and a little help from you, we can get that much closer. HGTV, we want you to take over our hometown.